Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, September 17th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier today wrote about file overlays. File overlays are additional data appended to a file to either confuse signature-based tools or sometimes also just to evade detection by increasing the file size to exceed the maximum size scanned by particular security tools. Xavier demonstrates in this post how to use a Python script to eliminate these overlays to make it easier to analyze these files. There is, of course, a Python PE module that can be used for this, in particular as Xavier is looking here at executable uh, PE files. And Apple today released major updates to all of its operating systems, iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS, visionOS, also for Safari and Xcode. This is the major operating release, but with that, of course, come also a number of security fixes and Apple simultaneously security only updates for the older operating systems as well. That way you don't necessarily have to pick whether or not you want to take the sort of you know, cutting edge, sometimes uh, not all that well debugged new operating system versions or whether you want to stick with what you already know. I scanned through the vulnerabilities here, nothing really spectacular that I saw. A lot of what I would call privilege escalation issues, like when an application is able to access data it's not supposed to access. There are a couple of WebKit vulnerabilities that tend to be interesting, but nothing that I noticed that's already being exploited. So no real rush here to apply these updates, just apply them at your leisure and of course, test things carefully first. And yesterday I mentioned a new already exploited vulnerability in Ivanti's Cloud Services Appliance or CSA. I didn't note that version 4.6 of Ivanti CSA, which apparently is still quite widely used, did not get a patch because it is no longer supported. The vulnerability is already exploited and your only option at this point appears to be to upgrade to 5.0 unless uh, Ivanti will come out with an update. Uh, CISA, the Cyber Infrastructure Security Authority, recommends to its uh, constituency to either upgrade to 5.0 or to discontinue the use of Ivanti CSA. And Microsoft revised its guidance to the September Patch Tuesday update, indicating that the MSHTML vulnerability addressed in the update had already been exploited before the update was released. That's CVE 2024-43461, and that's now the fifth zero day that was patched in September. This vulnerability allows spoofing the source of the HTML being parsed, essentially tricking the user into believing that something is coming from a trusted site. MSHTML is usually mentioned as part of Internet Explorer, which it is, and uh, it still matters, however, even though Internet Explorer no longer matters, because that particular component is also used in other applications, and it is still supported and being used. And the Taiwanese CERT published bulletins outlining several new vulnerabilities in D-Link routers, in particular DIR X4860. In addition to buffer overflows and command injection vulnerability, there's one issue that sounds quite dangerous in that the Telnet server may enable itself without the user intending to enable the Telnet server just by connecting the router to a network. And that's true also for the WAN interface, not just for the internal LAN interface. To make things worse, there's also a newly discovered backdoor, so credentials that are hard-coded and can't be changed by the user. Upgrade your firmware, there are upgrades available. Even if you don't run D-Link, remember, it's always a good idea to sort of have a monthly reminder to upgrade your firmware, or at least check if uh, there is an update available. So 
add that calendar reminder to once a month uh, ping you and make sure that your router's firmware is up to date for your home network. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.